Assalamu alaikum alaykum dear students uh, welcome to the lecture of the classical mechanics in this lecture uh, we will discuss the solution for the problem number 7.27 uh, from the very own books uh, the statement of the question is a massless spring of length b we have spring of which has length b and spring constant k connect two particle of mass m1 m2 the system rest on a smooth table and may oscillates and rotate the system has two properties we mean we have a spring mass system and it uh, can rotate and oscillates we have to find the determine uh, lagrange equation of motion determine the lagrange equation of motion and the second what are the generalized momentum associated with any cyclic coordinate determine the hamilton equation of motion okay the very first thing is we will find the lagrange equation then generalize called momentum for that each coordinates and then determine hamilton equation of motion for these this is our spring system in which we have uh, two masses for example this uh, is mass m and this is mass m2 at this point so if and this is spring of constant k and these are separated by uh, distance l and this is the length of the uh, spring uh, which is represented by b so how many coordinates uh, we will required for this to represent the first if uh, we write because this is an xy plane so definitely x1 and y1 will be coordinate for this mass and similarly the coordinate for this will be x2 and y2 these are the generalized coordinate which will be required to represent this position uh, in xy plane so the generalized coordinate are defined as follow x2 uh, uh, will be equal to you know that this x2 will be equal to uh, x1 if we this will be x1 plus y1 will this this uh, will be b sign of theta or l sign of theta because you know that this particle is inclined to x axis so we will resolve this length into two components okay when resolve this length into two component this will be l sin theta and this will be l cos theta you know that x uh, if we have x1 at this position so x2 is parallel to this line so it will be equal to x1 plus l cos theta which is this whole distance okay so x2 will be x1 plus l cos theta sorry this is uh, this is plus sign x1 plus l cos theta so x2 coordinate is at this position which is x1 plus l cos of theta and similarly y2 will be equal to y1 plus this whole distance so y2 will be equal to y1 which is parallel to this plus l sin theta which is this uh, vertical distance l sin theta so y2 is equal to y1 plus l sin theta okay taking the first derivative because for velocity we know that if we want to find the kinetic energy then daily we will uh, definitely we will need the its square so x2 if we take the derivative of this this will give x2 dot so derivative of x1 will be x1 dot plus uh, l dot cos of theta plus this thing as ordinary derivative similarly for y2 dot and kinetic energy will equal to m1 over 2 x1 dot square plus y1 dot square, square plus uh, for second particle m2 over 2 x2 dot square plus y2 dot square now you can simply uh, substitute the value of x2 dot y2 dot and uh, similarly uh, for x1 because x1 is equal to x1 so for x1 if we take the derivative of x1 so it will be just x1 dot and derivative of y1 it will be just y1 dot so for x2 dot and x y2 dot we will substitute this at corresponding x2 dot here and y2 dot at this position and x1 dot and x y1 dot will be written like as it so our expression for kinetic energy will be modified i think so if we go to the next page and the potential energy okay uh, we will expand it later because 
uh, the potential energy of the system will be equal to you know that uh, potential energy is equal to k over 2 k uh, over 2 okay i think it become very slow and x square so the net distance is l minus b because the length of this uh, total string is l and the length of the spring is uh, b so the effective length will be l minus b so k over 2 into x square which is uh, x is equal to l minus b because the total length of the string is l and the length of the spring is k so l minus b whole square you know that we have potential energy and the kinetic energy as in the previous slide so lagrangian is equal to t minus u we have kinetic energy and potential energy we will substitute this potential energy at this equation and kinetic energy from the previous slide into this so lagrangian will be equal to kinetic energy minus potential energy okay by substitution this is the lagrangian of the system you know that uh, at this position we can put the value of x2 dot and y2 dot in this equation as we have previously found uh, in at this position so this will give us and the arrangement of some term so it will give lagrangian is equal to m1 plus m2 over 2 x1 dot square plus y1 dot square plus this and m2 over this we have collected similar term together okay by substituting the value of x2 dot and y2 dot from the previous uh, equation as i can uh, show you like we have found this x2 dot and y2 dot taking this value of x2 dot and y2 dot and putting in uh, this equation okay so rearranging this uh, putting this and rearranging the whole term this will give us this equation okay then finally we have lagrange equation now this is the lagrangian equation for the system okay these are the first for the generalized coordinate x1 because we have generalized coordinate x1 similarly generalized coordinate y1 generalized coordinate x2 generalized coordinate y2 so we will find the equation of motion for x1 y1 x2 y2 so if we put this lagrangian into lagrange equation which is generally written as d over dt partial l over partial x dot minus partial l over partial x is equal to zero and the far right it will be d over dt partial l over partial y dot minus partial l over partial y is equal to zero if we put this lagrangian um, into this equation for x1 dot we will be here will be x1 here will be x1 so when for x1 dot we will put this lagrange into this equation so it will give us this equation du or dt plus m1 over 2 plus this and this will give us m1 x1 dot plus m2 x2 dot should be equal to constant because this you know that this derivative is going uh, setting equal to be zero so this thing should be equal to constant so that whole derivative will be uh, d over dt and this will be constant it means m1 x1 dot plus m2 x2 dot is equal to zero when you put this lagrange into this equation this will give m1 x1 dot plus m2 x2 dot is equal to px is equal to constant for y1 dot what will you do this will be y1 and this will be y1 okay so in this you will put to put to this uh, lagrange into this lagrange equation and it will give us m1 y1 dot plus m2 y2 dot is equal to py okay and similarly for generalized coordinate l for generalized coordinate l we will be have d over dt partial l over partial y uh, partial l over partial l dot minus 
partial lagrange over partial l is equal to 0 okay this l is length and this capital l is lagrange so we put that lagrange uh, that lagrange into this and at this point and evaluate this so this will give us this l double dot minus l theta dot plus x1 cos theta and this whole term for the generalized coordinate theta uh, we will uh, equation like d over dt partial l over partial theta dot minus partial l over partial theta is equal to zero we will put that lagrange function is this and at this and uh, differentiate first we will differentiate with respect to theta then differentiate with respect to t and here and then we subtract these two equations this will give us this equation of motion so the second part of this question was we have to find the generalized momentum so the generalized momentum associated with x1 will be equal to px which is equal to partial l over partial x1 dot and generalized momentum associated with y1 will be equal to py is equal to partial l over partial y1 dot which is constant okay we have lagrange uh, function and put that lagrange at this equation and differentiate with respect to x1 dot this will give px and similarly put this lagrange at here and differentiate with respect to y1 dot this will give py okay i think we have to substitute this into simply this equation for the generalized part so that uh, generalized coordinate x1 this will give px is equal to this and x1 will be equal to this you can just rearrange this equation uh, by putting by turning this equation to this term to the other side and this will give us so for generalized coordinate y1 we will have py is equal to m1 because you know that uh, y1 dot can be obtained from this re by rearranging this equation so it will be one y1 dot will be equal to this term minus and this m1 plus m2 will be just divided okay and for generalized coordinate l p l will be equal to this and you can find the value of l from this equation therefore l dot will be and similarly for generalized theta we can find p theta is equal to you know that p theta dot will be equal p theta will be equal to partial l or partial theta dot we have lagrangian just put the lagrangian into this and, and differentiate respect to theta dot this will give the value of p theta and we can uh, find the value of theta dot by turning this equation this term to other side and dividing this whole term will give us value of theta dot okay similarly by substitution that the hamilton of the system will hamiltonian of the system will be equal to this okay this is you know that this is equal to h is equal to sum of p and x for example minus l so this sum of p x will be equal to mean p1 x1 plus p2 x2 plus p l x l uh, similar and uh, p y x y by substituting all these equations at this point this will give us this uh, hamiltonian and for generalize so we can use the hamilton equation if we use the hamilton equation x1 dot will be equal to partial h or partial px we can just differentiate this uh, hamiltonian with respect to x px1 and similarly for y1 dot we can uh, differentiate this hamiltonian with respect to py1 okay this will give us and similarly for the other term as we have uh, solved for the previous question so py1 dot will be equal to minus partial h or partial y1 which is equal to 0 because we have hamiltonians we can just uh, differentiate it and for l dot which will be equal to partial h or partial pl which is equal to this
and similarly for generalized coordinate theta dot which will be equal to partial h or partial p theta because once we have found the value of hamiltonian so we can find the value of that generalized coordinate partial h or partial p theta and similarly p theta dot is equal to minus partial h or partial theta as hamilton equation so we have hamiltonian so we can find p theta dot theta dot and similarly as we have previously found uh, l dot x dot and x2 dot y1 dot we can find all that variables uh, from the hamilton equation of motion just uh, we have to uh, do some calculations so i will stop at this point and uh, inshallah meet in the next uh, lecture